Hey guys, Bing here. Today I'm going to show you this very simple um, sliding door family, so which you can um, change the the number of the panels. So for example, uh, here we have four panel. You can change that to six panel or three panel, and also you can close it or open it, and all this height thickness width okay so let's start so first create a generic model just generic model um yes and go to from sorry uh, just floor plan uh, let's just draw some reference plans first so this will be the door panel so this will be the thickness let's just call it th okay and then width equal and this will be the width let's call it w okay so go to front view reference plan dimension and uh, this will be the height of the door panel and once finished so let's create extrusion and draw that door panel lock and then go to floor plan finish drag lock drag and then lock so this will be the door panel okay so we can then change this so for example 2400 go up thickness maybe 45 and width 900 okay so uh, you can also add a material parameter if you want to but uh, I'll just leave it for now so now we have this door panel so it's a generic model so you can you can change that to a door panel if you want to so here I'm going to change that to door panel but after after you change it to the door panel you will have some uh, parameter so see here so that's the default height um, all this rough height, rough width, thickness, width will be the default uh, parameter for the door panel family. Um, actually, I'm just going to maybe I'll just change this to width. Okay, so and thickness, um, thickness, and front. So this is the height. I'll change it to height, and also I'm going to just delete this. okay so yeah if we change the category uh, at the beginning so you can just use this okay so that's that's it the door panel now we need to create the fam uh, the door pan uh, door family so go to door door family and I'll open okay so I'm going to just delete this so you can keep it if you, if you need them but uh, I'll for this exercise, I'm just going to place the panel in here. So, so first, I'll just uh, um, change the width to a little bit wider. Okay, so go to floor plan and uh, load this panel into here. So I'll place it here for now. So first, let's create some uh, reference plan. So first one I'm going to create is this one. So this will be the so I'll just align this panel, okay? So align this panel to this edge, lock, and also to this reference line. Oops, sorry, go back. Align this to here. So I want this door panel to always sit here. Okay, so now this reference line is for the second door panel. So if I copy, oh, sorry, not copy, I need a, a, a array, so AR. So need to array and I'll just do it here for now and then align this to this reference plan lock and also I will need an, uh, a horizontal reference plan so I'll just create one here so and do a dimension so from here to here so this dimension I'll just to use the I'll create a new one because this is a thickness of the whole door. Maybe I'll just create a new single um, 
single panel thickness. Okay, so and uh, okay, so click on this door. So now it's a array, it's a group. So you just need to edit group and then click on this door panel again, edit type. So that's the thickness. I'll need to associate this thickness to the single panel thickness. Uh, constraints not satisfied. It's okay. I'll just ignore it for now. And also width. Width will. I'll just create a new width. I'll call it a single panel width. And I'll use it in an instance. And also height. I'll link this to this height. And okay, okay. So now, uh, um, yeah, I see the issue here it's not we can't i can't constrain let's just do it again so finish this group and then align align here to here lock and also this one because we already locked this onto this reference plane that's okay and we just need to align this door panel to this one and lock okay so now we need to add this uh dimension so this will be the offset of the second door panel and okay so i'll just create um call it um what do we say call it panel offset okay so instance okay so and uh, we will need another single so that's 900 that's fine um single panel width will equals number of the so okay so click on this array one of that so see this number and click on this one so you can create add parameter so this will be a number so that's num number of panel so instance and i will just maybe place them in construction so it will go up a little bit so when you, when you go to f uh, family types it's it's here instead of other on here okay so and um, so now we need a formula for this panel of uh, for the first for the panel width okay so it's single panel width equals width divided by number so apply okay so so apparently that's only two panel and that's three meter. So the panel width will be one, uh, one, 1.5 meter. And then we need another one for the single pa uh, panel offset because we want to create the door that uh, it can be open and, and closed. So we will need to create a new parameter here and let's call it closed. Okay, so in yes and no, yes, no parameter. And also I'm just going to place it under construction or constraint. So start from C, it's upper there. So an instance as well. And okay, so here closed. So we need this, we need to do the formula for the panel offset here. So the formula is if closed, so if the closed, if closed, the offset will equals single panel width. So just type in uh, single panel width. Otherwise, if it's open, zero. So okay, apply. Okay. So now we have this door. Uh, let's go to 3D view. So. Okay, so first number, let's say three door panel, three, four. Yeah, so you will see that the thickness of the wall is not matching, but uh, yeah, it's not, I'm not going to adjust this in this exercise. So three, okay, so close and yeah, uncheck that, open it, open, close. Uh, height 20, 20, 20, 24. Oh, good. Uh, thickness uh, maybe 40. Yep. And width 
formula for panel yeah something like that so all good so that's it so it's a very simple uh, sliding door and which you can control the panel the number of the panels so i hope you can learn something from this so thank you for watching and i'll see you next time thank you bye